Welcome to the video series for Semantic Messaging Gateway. If you're switching your email service to Office 365, you'll still need the protection of Semantic Messaging Gateway. This video shows you how to route outbound mail from Office 365 to Semantic Messaging Gateway and how to set up spoof detection. Before we begin, let's take a look at how your outbound mail is protected by Semantic Messaging Gateway when you switch to Office 365. Semantic Messaging Gateway scans the mail that your users send from Office 365, applying policies and filters to make sure outbound mail does not contain unacceptable content and that confidential information remains confidential. Semantic Messaging Gateway can also scan your inbound mail before it reaches Office 365, using the policies you already have in place to filter out spam, malware, advanced threats, and unacceptable content. We'll set up protection for inbound mail in another video. In this video, we'll cover the three basic steps to route your outgoing mail from Office 365 to Semantic Messaging Gateway. Then we'll add a few steps to set up spoof detection with a message header that you set up in Office 365 and a domains dictionary and content filtering policy that you create in Semantic Messaging Gateway. Let's start with an overview. To begin, Add the fully qualified domain name of your Office 365 endpoint as an accepted outbound source in Semantic Messaging Gateway. To do this, you'll edit the outbound SMTP settings in your host configuration. Next, you'll set up a partner organization connector in Office 365. This establishes the route between Office 365 and Semantic Messaging Gateway. Then you'll create a mail flow rule in Office 365 to send all your outbound traffic through the connector. With these three steps, the outbound connection between Office 365 and Semantic Messaging Gateway is complete. However, it is possible for another Office 365 subscriber to spoof your domains and send spam emails that appear to come from your organization. The remaining steps set up a filter to detect spoofing and treat the emails as spam. In Step 4, You'll create an additional mail flow rule in Office 365, this time to add a header to the outbound messages that legitimately come from your organization. You'll want to treat the header text like a password and change it often. You'll also have to change it in the content filtering policy that you set up in the next step. In the final step, you'll set up a data dictionary of all your domains and then use this dictionary and the header you added in Office 365 to create a content filtering policy. Any outbound message that does not originate in one of your domains or does not include the header is treated as spam and is not delivered outside of your organization. Now let's look at each step in detail. In Step 1, enter the fully qualified domain name of your Office 365 endpoint as an accepted outbound mail source in Semantic Messaging Gateway. You must do this first to ensure that Semantic Messaging Gateway accepts outbound mail as soon as Office 365 begins to send it. In the Control Center, select Administration, Hosts, Configuration. Select your host and click Edit, or just click the link for the host. On the Edit Host Configuration page, click the SMTP tab and then click the Outbound tab. Under Outbound Mail Acceptance, click Add, and then enter the fully qualified domain name of your Office 365 endpoint. Here is a list of the most common Office 365 endpoints. This endpoint information is also available on the Microsoft Support site. Symantec recommends that you enable TLS encryption for your outgoing mail. You must configure an MTA TLS certificate and assign it to this host before you can enable TLS encryption. When you are finished, scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save. Now let's go to Office 365 to set up a partner organization connector to Semantic Messaging Gateway. In the Exchange Admin Center, select Mailflow Connectors and then click the plus sign and choose Add New Connector. In the wizard, from the From menu, select Office 365. From the To menu, select Partner Organization, then click Next. Name your connector, 
and then click Next. Select only when I have a transport rule set up that redirects messages to this connector, and then click Next. Select Route Email through these smart hosts, click the plus sign, and enter the DNS name that points to your Semantic Messaging Gateway host. Click Next, and then follow the prompts to complete the setup. Refer to the Office 365 Help if you need more detailed instructions. Next, create a mail flow rule, also known as a mail transport rule, to send your outbound mail through the connector to Semantic Messaging Gateway. In the Exchange Admin Center, select Mail Flow Rules, click the plus sign, and select Create a New Rule from the drop-down. In the New Rule dialog box, name the rule and add the following conditions. Apply this rule if the sender address matches at plus your domain name and the recipient is located outside the organization. Then add the action, use the following connector, and select the connector that you set up to send mail to Semantic Messaging Gateway. Then click Save. Again, refer to the Office 365 Help if you need more detailed instructions. Now that you've set up the outbound connection to Semantic Messaging Gateway, you'll create an additional mail flow rule to add an anti-spoofing header to your outbound messages. In the Exchange Admin Center, select Mail Flow Rules. Click the plus sign and select Create a New Rule from the drop-down. In the New Rule dialog box, name the rule and add the condition Apply this rule if the sender address includes your domain name. Then select Set the message header to this value and add the action to set your Office 365 message header to the value of your chosen header text. Then click Save. To complete your spoof detection, you'll create a data dictionary of all your domains and then set up a content filtering policy that uses the message header and the domain dictionary to detect spoof messages. Let's start by creating the dictionary. In the Semantic Messaging Gateway Control Center, Select Content, Resources, Dictionaries, and then click Add. On the Add Dictionary page, name your dictionary, and then in the Enter a Word or Phrase field, type the name of your domain and click Add. The domain name appears in this list. Repeat this step until you've added all your domains, and then click Save. Your last step is to set up a content filtering policy to detect outgoing messages that do not originate from your organization. Select Content, Policies, Email, and click Add. On the Add Content Filtering Policy page, click Select to choose the blank template. Enter a name for the policy, and under Conditions, select Outbound Messages from the drop-down, and then click Add. Your first condition detects outbound messages that do not originate from one of the domains in your dictionary. To create this condition, select text in the specific part of the message header. Then choose envelope sender, does not contain, domain name, and then select the name of your domain's dictionary from the drop-down list. Click Add Condition. Your second condition detects outgoing messages that may appear to originate in one of your domains, but which do not include the header text that you specified in your Office 365 mail flow rule. Click Add to add this condition to your policy. Select text in this specific part of the message, choose Message Header, and enter the name you assigned to the message header in Office 365. Select Does Not Contain, enter 1, and then enter the header text from your Office 365 mail flow rule. Click Add Condition. To complete the rule, you need to add an action to tell Semantic Messaging Gateway what to do with messages that violate this policy. Under Actions, click Add. In the Configure an Action list, select an action from the list. Semantic recommends a non-destructive action such as Treat as Spam. Then click Add Action. At the bottom of the page, select the Policy Groups checkbox to apply this rule to all your policy groups. Or if there is a reason to exclude certain policy groups, you can select the groups individually. Then click Save. 
your existing policies, data loss prevention rules, and content encryption are now applied to your outbound mail from Office 365. Plus, your new content filtering policy is now set up to detect spoofing. 